another manifestation another what abortions 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 and shockingly what happens when you do abortions a spirit finds a way to you this way was it last of last year I led some of you in prayer I said if you have ever done abortion pray this prayer Just connect yourself because there are people who do not understand that spirit will follow you and will begin to follow you not only in the abortions but you'll find that you have got a project you're doing yourself you're about it yourself you begin to abort your future about your relationship about that spirit comes on you and stay somebody say break, break. no say louder say break And people don't realize the spiritual consequences. That's why it's very, very important. Things which were done in the past, to check them out, to ask God to forgive you. And if He forgives you, to forget about them. The more you remember them, the more you, that spirit is still connected with you. The more, the more you are tortured by it, the more that thing comes closer to you. You need to disconnect yourself. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Say, so I, I distance myself. Now, let's go ahead. Can we go ahead? Pornography. Another manifestation. Someone is like, <coughs> someone, someone is like, now, I think this is now me. Of course, who do you think I'm talking to? <laughs> Say pornography. pornography. Can you imagine you, you, in your, in your actual sense, you, the way you are? Can you imagine, would you go to watch people having sex? You wouldn't. But what happens at that time that you want to watch people having sex? It doesn't happen all the times, but there is a moment it hits you so hard and you begin to do it. It means there's a strange spirit that attacks you at that moment. It attacks you. Hey, those watching on TV, where are you? Don't behave like a holy. What happens? Someone says a strange spirit. How would you be watching pornography? You with your senses. But what makes you at that period of time to say you want to watch? It is not you, madam. It is not you, sir. You are under attack of a strange spirit. It just comes and attacks you. It's a perfect spirit. It attacks you and you're a believer. The more people understand these spirits, the more they will stand victorious and they will walk in the righteousness of God. Come on, am I speaking to somebody here? You need to bind that spirit now. You need to rebuke that spirit. It is a spirit of darkness. You will be shocked how much you pray before the Lord and God is not answering you. It is not, it is not the answer failing, but there is a spirit operating around you. Tell the neighbor next to you, say, be careful. be careful. Can you imagine? This is why I, I always choose a neighbor to sit with. You'll be sitting with a neighbor to the left with a lying spirit. <laughs> to the right, perverse spirit.
at the back. <laughs> Familiar spirit. <laughs> In front of you, divination. <laughs> Say, oh Lord, help us. <laughs> Someone say, bind you now. Say, you strength spirit. I command you out. Say, in the name of Jesus. Strength spirit. Are you following somebody? Are you following somebody? Foolish arguments. It's a strange spirit. Hey, the way you and your whatever, how you love one another, you love one another so much. But when that strange spirit comes, the moment it comes, you begin to fight. Foolish. If, if I may actually sit down with you and ask you, what are you really fighting? It's foolish. You won't even, you won't even explain it. You are behaving so holy like innocent. Like you don't even know what I'm talking about. It's a foolish argument. Other days, love to love. Two days later, who do you think you are? <laughs> do, you think, do you think it's a normal situation? Do you think it's a normal situation? Something is what? Something is happening. There is a stranger in your marriage. There is a stranger in your relationship. Somebody shut I blind you now. You know, even at work, you find someone, all they want is they want to be fighting with you. It's not them. It is a strange spirit. Like, what is happening? This person all the time, they want to fight with you. And you'll be like, you'll be going to your, to your, to your room thinking, why does, they, why does that woman always want to fight with me? I don't know what wrong I did to the person. It's not the person you are dealing with a strange spirit. So I bind that spirit now. You, you think you are dealing with the people. It's a strange spirit. It's a perverse spirit. It will manifest, and wherever it manifests, wherever it takes place, you'll be sitting there and just be arguing. Another manifestation, anger. Anyone here with an uh, anger problem? Can I ask your hand up? Can I see? One, two, three, four, five. You see, it's, it's, not, it's not just raising up your hand. Those watching on TV, please. Can I have those ones also in the service? Those of you, wherever you're watching from, if you have anger issues, do you know why? I want to help you. It is not you. It's, it's a stranger. I want to bind that stranger. Can I see the hand? All those watching on TV, wherever you're watching from, if you know there is anger somewhere. Now, let me say this thing to you. Don't take these things lightly. Don't take these things lightly. Do not take such lightly. Anger. It is a strange spirit. What happens with you? You can talk properly. You can communicate properly. Someone doesn't listen because you shouted. They can listen properly. Address issues nicely. It is not you, unfortunately. It is a spirit. And you cannot have that spirit and being in church, doing fasting, praying, and keeping it, taming it, living in you. Ah, me, I don't have demons. Shut up. You have a principality, actually. It is a perverse spirit. And it must be rebuked. 
Raise up your right hand. I say, I rebuke every spirit in my life. Any power and prosperity manifesting through anger or foolish arguments, I have discovered you tonight. You are a stranger in my life. I bind you now and I command you out. You can clap your hands for the Lord if you can. Are you following? Now, let's see some scriptures quickly. Proverbs 1 verse 22. All right, let's read Proverbs 1 verse 22. And I want you to give me good news translation. Proverbs chapter 1, verse number 22. Foolish people, how long do you want to be foolish? How long will you enjoy making fun of knowledge? Will you never learn? And I want you to go to uh, Sam Proverbs 2, verse 12. And prevent you from doing the wrong thing. They will keep you away from people who stir up trouble by what they say. People who do wrong things. Uh, like, Papa, I wanna, you know, I don't know why, I don't know what happens with me. I just find myself doing wrong things. You are dealing with a stranger. Let's go in the book of Acts. Let, let's go in the book of Acts. Go into the book of Acts of Apostles. 13 verse 10. Acts of Apostles chapter 13 verse number 10. Good news. And said, you son of the devil. You are the enemy of everything that is good. You are full of all kinds of evil tricks. You always keep trying to turn the Lord's truth into lies. Now, I want you to see something there. All right? Same, same chapter, give me in your NKJV. All fool, of all deceit, and all fraud. You son of the devil, you enemy of all righteousness, will you not cease pivoting? The straight ways of the Lord. I want you to see this. As I said before, some of you it is with you. Some of you it is with your children. Some of you with your parents. And you may not understand how these spirits work. But in any way, command them out of your family. They are blocking things. How many are following? How many are following this? And I want to show you quickly the results of these spirits. Results of these spirits. What do they do? Number one, they cause depression. Some people right now are depressed. Because of what they went through when they were children, how they were abused when they were young, some they were abused in marriage, in relationships, until today they are failing to walk out of depression. Number two, sexual acts. There are people who fall under sexual acts because of what they watch. And they find themselves doing crazy things. Masturbation. Insects, where they even sleep with their family members. All these crazy stuff and things are happening or ever happened and people are affected spiritually and they don't know them. Poverty. 
There are people who are under poverty because of strange spirits. Poverty. Some say poverty. A stranger appears also in what you do. If there's a stranger in your life, that stranger can appear in your money. Poverty. Another issue, divorce. There are many divorces happening because a stranger was appearing in a woman or in a man until they divorced. Broken relationships. Broken relationships. Sickness. Come on, someone raise up a hand. Say, I rebuke every strange spirit. I rebuke every strange spirit. Say loud and clear. Say, I rebuke every strange spirit. I rebuke every strange spirit. Can you imagine even people, they go like, ah, me. Hey, Papa, me, I have a depression. Like, eh? Me, Papa, I have a depression. You are taming that. And I want us to make a prayer. Can you stand up on your feet? Every stranger in your life must leave. Jaco jere de parakadosi de fohata masorado shikia mahad ateke popra ada zakia ve suto kopushia raise up a hand somebody raise up a hands raise up a hands in the name of Jesus every strange spirit in my life I bind you now. And I command you out. Every strange spirit in my life. I bind you now. I command you out. Every strange spirit in my children. I bind you now. I command you out. Every strange spirit in my relationship. I bind you now and I command you out. Every strength spirit in my career, in my ministry, in my life, in my business, clap your hands and command out. Clap your hands and command out. Rebuke that strength spirit. Wherever you are, every foundation the enemy has put in your life, Using strange spirits, where they appear in your child or in you or in your marriage or your relationship, where wherever there is love, all of a sudden something strange will come. I want you to raise up a hand. Some of you, it is to do with your ministry. Some of you, your calling. Some of every area of life where a strange spirit is appearing, I want you to bar that spirit. I want you to command that spirit to never operate as you raise your hands. Use your mouth and your heart and your words loud and clear. Say, I bind every strange spirit attacking my life, attacking my marriage. Say, in Jesus' name, and I command it out. I announce your liberation in Jesus' name. I announce your total freedom in Jesus' name. I announce your total deliverance in Jesus' name. I announce your total deliverance in Jesus' name. I announce your relationship to be freed in Jesus' name. Your marriage is free in Jesus' name. Your career is free in Jesus' name. Your mind is free in Jesus' name. Clap your hands for the Lord, everybody. Somebody say, I am completely free. Hallelujah. 
Clap your hands to the Lord once again. You may be seated.